So, as she just said, uh, my name's Jenny. I am a web developer, first and foremost. I'm a PhD and plus organizer and a community enabler, which is my way of saying I go around and do stuff in the community. Um, and you can find me on Twitter, Miss Jaywo. I apologize in advance, and this is the only time I apologize, is when I'm at a conference, I will tweet more than I would breathe. So <laughs> it's almost like you're at the conference. It's super cool. Um, I just used to go to like a notebook. That's what happens. So I work for Human Made. For people who don't know who we are, um, we're a company based out of Matt Block, but we actually work all over the world. Um, I'm now based in Reading. Um, we're more famous for stuff like WP Remote and Backup WordPress. And that's all I'll say about it. I know nothing about the two products. Um, PHP Northwest is a PHP conference based in Manchester. Um, it's happening in two weeks' time. It's sold out, I'm afraid, so to book. But, second best, there's PHP UK, which is in London, it's in Shoreditch, at a place called The Brewery. Um, and it's a really nice crowd. It's loads of PHP lovers, developers, cool people, kind of like the WordPress community, but for PHP. Um, so if you're interested in PHP, totally go. I will be there. I usually am um, at these things. Um, so, Ma uh, Mark kind of did this, but I'm going to do it again. Hands up if you're a WordPress user. Okay, I want you to keep them up. And now, how many of you have contributed back to WordPress? <laughs> so everyone take a look around. Of all the people in your, the room, there's four people who have contributed back to WordPress. Four. Come on, let's get made this better. So, when I started in WordPress, I was just a person, a student, who was told to make a website, but ended up being on WordPress. Um, and as you do it more and more, you become a better developer, which is great. And then at some point, I was like, oh, well, you know, it would be cool to kind of contribute back. Last year at WordCamp Europe, a guy went to WordCamp Europe, I don't know what his name is, he came back from the event and said, you know, every week I want to spend one day contributing back to WordPress. Um, I just spend like one hour per week on one day doing it. So it's a small contribution, but quite a valuable one. And he asked um, people on Twitter who would actually do it with him. And I was one of those many people who was like, yeah, let's, let's give it a go. I went and gave it a go. But the reality of it was that when I got home after work, I didn't want to do more code. Like, I just didn't. I wish was go and watch TV and pig out um, and do other things that were outside a computer. And that was fine. Um, and it was a real shame. But when I actually went out of security, a lot of the time people say, when I come home from work, I don't want to do code. I know how they feel. The other excuse that people give me all the time about contributing back to WordPress is the fact that they can't, for whatever reason. If this is time, that's fair enough, I can't change your life. Um, but lots of people think they just don't have the ability to. Um, there's lots of people in this room. Some of us are developers, some of us are project managers, and so on and so forth. But we all have a talent that we can actually give back to the WordPress community. Um, and today, that's what I'm going to talk about. So, last year, these guys, WordPress London and WordCamp London, changed my life. I went to WordCamp London last year, and um, it was a last minute thing. And the only reason why I went down was because it was the first contribute day that was happening in the UK. And I really, really wanted to see, how do people get over this crazy hump of trying to get WordPress to work and contribute back to core. Um, and it was a great idea to go to this country today and get help getting that sorted out. And what I learned from that was that 
every single person can contribute back to WordPress. And I'm looking at every single one of you. There is no excuse for anyone not to be contributing back to WordPress. And I will challenge you to give me a decent excuse that's not to do with time as to why you're not contributing back to WordPress. So, on that topic, let's see how we can do it. There's some known coding ways. So for those people who do not want to see another line of PHP or CSS or HTML, this is the route for you. Support. How many times have you, we, as people in the community, gone onto the forums, found the answer, or asked the question and not replied back to an answer that you know? Come on, put your hands up if you've done that. Yeah, some people are lying. <laughs> um, I am guilty of this. I'll put a question up there and then I figure it out and completely forget to actually reply back. And I'm sure my future self will find the same question and be like, why did I not write the answer? So annoying. Um, so, if you can spend half an hour a week on the forums answering all the people who are, who are learning about WordPress, maybe have a challenging question, who are going through the same situation that you are at work, take the time out. Help support them. By doing that, you are help supporting the community as a whole and you're keeping us alive. And that's really important, because if there's no community, there's no WordPress. Second thing, documentation. How many people here use the codex? Really? Just a few of you? Should be all of you. Um, the codex is an amazing place, and if you actually look at how many pages there are, it's a bit mad. Um, not only is it in English, it's also in English, British English, I should say, and also every other language on the, country, uh, on the continent. So it's Super cool, but it wasn't one person who wrote the documentation, it was a whole team of people. And let's face it, how many times have you been on a codec and found something that was actually wrong? A few people were listening to it. Yeah. It's that annoying time when you've got a client on the phone going, you have to do this, you have to do this, you find it in the codec, you're like, oh great, it works, and then put it in and it doesn't work. <laughs> it's really cool, but you can actually change the code deck. All you have to do is go in, it's like a Wikipedia page, go in, change it, modify it. It's all up today. It takes people like us to find those issues, fix them, and all of us can do that. I mean, if we're coding, we can write. And if you're not coding, you can probably still write. Polygons. How many people here are multilingual? I should say, how many people here are multilingual and can write in the other language? Because I can't write in Chinese. Yeah, you guys are awesome. You have a gift that other people don't, and you can actually be part of the Polygot team. Polygot team will basically go into WordPress and translate everything. That's what they do. They translate the documentation, they translate the forums sometimes, they deal with the forum questions that are in some other random language that we don't know, like Spanish or French or something. And that's really cool. Like, you say something that you already know and just asking questions, it's not hard. Another one, which is actually like a month old, is training. Now, for you guys who don't know this, WordPress.org are actually in the process of creating uh, on, like, online uh, education packs for people so that you as a trainer could take those packs and teach yourself, your colleagues, and you know, whoever else you want to teach. And that's super cool. The only thing is, it's a group of like five people doing writing all this training pack, and you know how horrendously big WordPress is. So they could do with some help writing this documentation up, writing us this training. So if you have any background in teaching, in smart. <laughs> and or you actually like teaching other people how to do stuff or how you've worked something out, then training's totally a place that you should go and check out. And these guys are really nice. Next 
guess what? Community. There's three people in this room who have put this event on today. And they are supporting the community. It takes the average Joe, like them, like me, and like all of you, to go and put on, put on events. And it's really important that you guys do this because it brings the word of community together and we're not just black faces on the internet, which is really important. It also means that we can share ideas, share knowledge, share the crazy client stories that keep us insane every day. To keep us sane, it's really important. So if you guys want to be part of the community, help support the community, then, you know, speak to all the organizers here tonight. Say, hey, I could speak on a topic that I've been working on at work. That would really help them out. Or if you can help them get sponsorship, or, you know, just help them in any way they want help, you know, just say, hey, what can I do to help this community? There's some coding ways as well. And by the way, you don't have to be a developer. Those are photos, there's themes. Um, how many people here have a theme in the repo? I'm going to up. So there's like two people. How many people here have downloaded a theme from the repo? Wake us up. Every single theme on the well, I would say every single one, but all the new ones especially, they have every single thing that goes up has to be reviewed by a theme review team, and that's what the theme team do. They literally take the theme from the authors, download it onto the machines, and check for, you know, hats, security issues, um, dodgy links to dodgy sites, and trust me, they happen. Um, they check for all these random things so that when we download a theme from the repo, we don't have to think about these things. They need help. There's so many things going up, and there's only a certain amount of manpowers that, will, that they have um, to review these things. So if you want your thing to get through the backlog that bit quicker, then totally check this out. Also, I would like to point out, if you are a theme developer, this is a really good way to learn how to do a theme properly. There's nothing like scrutinizing someone else's code to make you realize how bad your own is. <laughs> Accessibility. This is Grain Forte. Um, so I'm not going to say much about it because I should be here. But basically, these are the guys who make WordPress accessible and keep us as developers and as users on our toes. It means that if you have tennis elbow or repetitive strain injuries, it doesn't have to be about being blind, but people who just can't use mouses or keyboards. It means that they can actually use WordPress. That is why WordPress is one of the more commonly used custom um, CMSs. So yeah, totally give access to the lazy guys a hand. They all look for people to help support them. You know why? These guys are, a lot of them are designers and developers, um, and they look at the interaction of how to make WordPress easy to use in terms of the user interface. So they were kind of responsible for the admin redesigns and stuff like that. Um, so if you like your crayons, totally go for them. For mobile, how many people here use the WordPress mobile app? A couple of you. If you find any bugs, report them. The second you report a bug, you have now contributed back to the mobile team. That is how easy it is to contribute back to WordPress. Um, if you are interested in creating Android apps, iPhone apps, Blackberry apps, um, Windows apps, they will always need more people to help develop these plugins and make them better. Uh, so, totally, if it's something you're interested in and you want to learn, actually joining the mobile team is a really good way of getting some mentoring and some support. So, one of the bigger ones that everyone thinks about when they contribute into WordPress is cool. Actually, the, the sole thing that we download as we all know is WordPress. And cool's really cool. Um, you do not have to be an automatician to contribute to core. Get that in your heads now. Anybody, no matter how old you are, can contribute to core. I had that assumption ages ago and I realized it was totally wrong. So I can tell you, anyone, I've literally seen 10 year olds contribute to core. It's pretty scary because I think they're the next Einstein, but it's really cool at the same time. So, you know, anyone can contribute to core. Even changing 
a CSS fix where something is one pixel out of line will get your name on the core contributors list. And let's face it, most people can change a number from one to two on a keyboard. <laughs> if you don't want to write the actual code, they also need patch testers and bug replicators. So literally, on their bug tracker, you literally pick a bug and say, yes, I can replicate this bug and this is how I did it, or no, this is not a bug. That's all they need. The more information as a community we can give back to the people who are doing cool, the better, the less time they have to spend investigating stuff. The meta team. Now, the meta team's a bit weird. They're kind of the people who are keeping WordPress all alive. So all the functionality on WordPress.org, regardless of where it is on the site, the meta team have had a hand in it. So when you're modifying the documentation on the Wikipedia pages and stuff like that, they are there to make extra functionality for us, do this, do that, basically make our lives easier for all the other teams. And they're really are the backbone of WordPress.org. So if you're if you want to help support WordPress.org as a site, go and speak to the meta team. BuddyPress. How many people here use BuddyPress? Cool. So BuddyPress is a pretty big project and it has like 20 people working on it, which is next to nothing. Uh, and it's really cool because they are really passionate people, but what's really cool about them is that because they're such a small team, they're really, really welcoming of new people to their community and they are always, they will mentor you, look after you and help you support your journey on becoming a developer of whatever sort you want. Um, it's super, super cool. So definitely give that a go. Plugins. How many people here download plugins? Yeah, everyone should have their hand up. How many people here create plugins? How many people here have tried to put something on the plugin repo? A couple of you. So there is a team called the plugins team, and their sole job, and as I wrote on the slide, they're the guardians of the plugin repo. So that when we, as users, download a plugin, there's no security issues in them. I mean, they try and catch, they try and catch as much as they can, but you know, some stuff does fly through. Um, but they basically review plugins, check they're all okay, they will, um, if they find out that a plugin is very insecure, they will actually block it from being downloaded ever again, until it's fixed. Um, they basically look after everything we download. And unfortunately, this is one of the many few teams that you cannot be a part of unless you're being through a horrendous list of things that I need you through, basically being security experts. Uh, but one of the cool things about the plugin team is, especially if you've created any plugin, is they have a plugins review blog. And on that, they put the latest security issues, what they keep on seeing as issues that people keep on putting up, uh, how to fix like plugin development and how to make things easier. So totally subscribe to their blog so you can become a better plugin developer. So the result of WordCamp London last year was that I got really drunk <laughs> and um, I ran around a pub in Shoreditch shouting that I was going to do a WordPress Contribute Day on its own and it happened. WordPress Contribute Days are a thing. They kind of like WordCamps but the whole day you spend contributing back to WordPress. Um, it's super cool, we all nerd up and we all bring our laptops and half the time no one knows what they're doing, which is absolutely fine, that's the whole point. And we support each other, setting up our machines, getting over the horrible hurdle of being a newbie, and keep us supporting ourselves and supporting our community by getting patches in. The first one I ran, we got two patches into court on the same day. The second one we ran, Buddy Press got so much better. They got a core contributor to Buddy Press. The third one I ran, um, the team's review team was bigger than the call team, and it was a proud day. So, hopefully there will be one soon in London. Hint, hint. So, what happens on these days? This is kind of a running order. 
We do some registration, we do a little intro, see what everyone's interested in doing. It's all about what you guys want to do. We have a set first session, then we have a lunch. And it's not always pizza, I promise. And then we have a second session as well. And it's up to you what you guys want to do on that day. It's how you guys want to contribute back to WordPress. There might be a group that you guys are interested in, or there might be something that's completely random that you think you want to do as part of WordPress, but we're not doing it yet. You can totally do it. The kind of sessions we run are all these on here, which is pretty much everything I've just gone through. And so for homework, I would really, really love it if you guys considered joining the contribution team in any form that you want. Go to make.wordpress.org. In there, there, there is a list of teams. In each team, you'll see a handbook or get involved section. And then there should be a page called getting started at a country today. Now, just because you're at home doesn't mean you can't just start a country today in your living room. Um, it's really cool to get set up. And, you know, I hope we will get more and more of the UK community on the contributors list like we did for WordPress 4.0, which was a huge success. So I want to finish with some new reminders about contributing to WordPress. We're all in it together. We don't have to be automaticians. If we're not sure about what to do, ask around. Uh, there are IRC channels, which are like online web channels, like MSN channels kind of thing. Um, that you can speak to people who are also contributing back to WordPress in different forms, which is really cool. Um, and as well, there's the four rooms, like I said. And feel free, like if you do come to a contributor day, you can switch between the sessions whenever you want. The whole idea is totally geared to you guys. You guys run the show. Without you, we don't have WordPress. Any questions? All right. Thank you.